a success for sow supporters. This local animal rights advocate is reading over the legal rights of animals after a new law was introduced to protect pigs. The ban isn't enforceable, but she says it will hold up in court. While the new law will not make it an offence to use a cell stall per se, it will be a defence in a prosecution under the Animal Welfare Act 1999 to point to the fact that you didn't use a cell stall. The law will come into effect tomorrow, helping people fight legalities in animal abuse cases and around the welfare of pigs. Sow stalls are used to house pregnant pigs. They can only stand or lie down in the physically confining cages, which are considered cruel by animal welfare advocates. Their intelligence is estimated to be roughly around the same as a dog or a three-year-old child in many cases. So you can imagine it's sort of the physical equivalent of having a man in a very small phone booth. It's, it's very small for them, very tight and confining. Larson is the president of the Otago branch of the Student Animal Legal Defence Fund. She says New Zealand is progressing in making the country a cruelty-free place by banning cosmetic and legal high testing on animals. But with growing demand for meat and eggs, she says the country is putting its exporting status above a moral obligation. While we've got this balance between you know, the welfare of the animals that are being used and between the economy, I really feel like it's quite out of whack. You know, we've gone far too down the line of the economic aspect, whereas if we are to continue using animals, I feel like it would be really good if we had more of an equilibrium for that. She'd like to see more work towards creating a more sustainable, cruelty-free country. Annabelle Dick, 39 Dunedin News.